Hey there, it's Jamila with Elevated Business 101, and today I want to talk to you about how to make fast extra money to pay your bills with retail arbitrage. I know it's a mouthful, but I'm going to explain everything. So, but before I get into the video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, if you like learning about ways to make money online, starting your own business and growing your own business, then this is the place for you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get to it. <clears throat> All right. First, we probably need to answer the question, what in the world is retail arbitrage? So this is a term that I recently learned, even though I probably was doing this before. I, I actually was doing this before I heard the term. Uh, and uh, people do this all the time. So I'm excited to share with you. Here we go. So what is retail arbitrage? Essentially, retail arbitrage is where you purchase a product um, for one price, typically, definitely, a lower price, and then you sell it for a higher price elsewhere, okay? Buy low-cost items from one seller and then sell them for higher prices elsewhere. And uh, you can see here an example of uh, an item that I purchased on the left for $8.99, and then I sold it. Uh, somewhere else on the right for $15, okay? Um, and that is retail arbitrage. That is a way that you can make some fast money uh, if you need to, for instance, pay your bills pretty quickly. Um, maybe you had an unexpected bill, a new bill, or a medical expense or something that um, you required extra money for. And so uh, this, I think, is an excellent way of not only making some extra money for bills, but if you have anything that you want to pay for, whether it's an extra little vacation, a weekend out, a night out, going to the movies, uh, if you want to build a business model around this, retail arbitrage is something that many people do. Uh, and I'll talk a little bit more about that going forward. Oh, there it is. There's a forward. So who uses retail arbitrage? And really my question is, who doesn't? Okay, so essentially, retail arbitrage is what we see happening in every store we walk into, right? When people go and purchase the produce that we like, the shoes and clothes that we like, the home goods that we like, that we get from our favorite stores, those retailers definitely purchased those items from a smaller price, uh, for, for a lower price, from um, a manufacturer or a wholesaler, and then they hiked up the price, uh, put those items on the racks on the shelves for us to come and purchase for a greater price, and that store has made a profit, and these stores are multi-million and billion dollar companies because of their use of retail arbitrage. So we, um, as consumers, have the ability to do a similar thing, especially uh, if we are, again, trying to make some extra cash. So let me show you uh, some more examples here. Um, so this is my tip as to what to buy. It's kind of like two tips in one. So I would say hunt for quality brands in seasonal items. And throughout this presentation, I'm really showing you examples of what I have been doing and things that I have purchased. So the first item that you saw, that chair, I got it from a local uh, market, a grocery store in my community. And then I just resold it online at, on an app. And I'll show you the apps that I use momentarily. But what is a great exercise that you can kind of do if you want to get the most bang for your buck with retail arbitrage is hunt for quality products, um, quality brands, and seasonal items. So here is a Holmes fan, and Holmes is a pretty popular brand. They make quality uh, materials, quality, quality goods, and I intentionally got a fan, this seasonal item, because it's the summer in Southern California, and it is hot. Um, it's probably not as hot as several other places in the world, but it's pretty warm right now. And people who don't have air conditioning in their 
apartments or homes, they want and need fans. So I've been able to purchase these and sell them. I've sold probably six or seven fans this summer, like six or seven fans in the last 30 days. Um, and so this one I purchased for about 20 bucks, like 19.99 or something like that. And I sold it for $40. <clears throat> so I made a $20 profit off of that. And if you could imagine in 30 days, if I could do that seven times, seven times 20, 140 bucks, right? If you have a bill that's $140 or a hundred dollars even, um, look, there you have it. You know, if you invest $20, for instance, and just go and get one fan and you make $40 and then you take that $20 and then go get one more and you make $40 and then take $20 and go get one more because I know it can be risky to, you know, just invest in these fans and then no one buy them. So I was doing exactly what I just described. I'll go get one more fan because what if people don't buy it from me? I don't want it to just sit in my house or sit in the trunk of my car. Um, so I would just buy one at a time rather than buying like 10 fans, for instance. But some people, if you have the ability to, if you have the financial means to, you can absolutely do that. Go ahead and buy 10 fans and then, you know, just wait it out and sell them. And I'll give you some tips for selling in just a moment. So here are some more quality brands and seasonal items that I purchased. These haven't sold yet. Um, I am excited because I believe they will. People have asked me about these. As you can see, um, they have uh, 10 and 5 views respectively, and I haven't had them up online for very long. Um, and the one on the left I got for 15 bucks. I'm listing it for 40 The one on the right I got for 30 bucks, and I'm listing it for 50 um, and once you uh, do this and start listing items on the different apps, again, that I'm going to show you, messages and the cash will start to roll in. See, um, here it's back to school season. So I packed these two backpacks and the contents cost me just $20 each and I'm selling the backpacks for $40 right away people began to message me um with interest in these backpacks i mean just just consider you know families who don't want to go out and shop for all these little items um but would rather just have it all together already or um even have it delivered to them because i'm selling on apps that um, are for people in my local community. And so I could just drive a block or two away and drop this off to their house as well. And I do charge for delivery. So let's talk about those uh, different things, where to sell and some tips for selling. So you definitely want to go to websites or use apps that are highly trafficked. Um, if you just post pictures up, you know, on your wall in your house, nobody's going to see those things, right? Um, but thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people are on these different apps and um, close by in your community looking for things all the time. So I've listed here specifically apps that I use on my iPhone, Offer Up, Let Go, and Five Mile. And I use Facebook Marketplace as well my phone. So you just post a picture, name your price, give a description, tell whether or not the item is new. And with retail, retail arbitrage is always going to be a new item. Um, yeah. And then you post it out there and just wait. Okay. Some people are using, um, high traffic websites like eBay and Amazon to do retail arbitrage. Um, and that's excellent as well. Um, so this particular uh, video is all about using apps. So let me talk a little bit more about that. So here are my tips, three through 10. <laughs> okay, so for using these apps and maximizing your sales, I, re I recommend, well, first of all, you definitely wanna have some good pictures. So take some good pictures so it's clear what you're selling and write some good descriptions as well. The more you describe the item, the more likely people are to buy. But you want to download the free apps, turn on your notifications so that whenever someone um, likes your item or saves it 
or messages you about it, you get a notification right away, almost as if you get a text message that pops up on your phone and you can see it. Um, respond quickly because if they're searching for items and they come across yours, they could be searching for um, that item and ask other people about theirs that they're offering as well. So if someone looking for a barbecue grill, like what I'm selling, and they click on mine and see my price and, and all that good stuff, they might be doing that with other people's barbecue grills that they have listed too. So you want to respond quickly because you don't want another seller to get their attention necessarily. Okay, prepare for the talk down because people are on these apps to find deals and they're gonna to wanna to talk you down. So I intentionally price my items a little bit higher so that people can talk me down to something that I'm comfortable with. So uh, for instance, the fans that I have listed on these apps, I've purchased them for $20, listed them at $40, and I've even allowed people to talk me all the way down to $27. Um, and it, it really is, it depends on the person, it depends on you, it depends on how much money you want or need um, at the time. So just keep in mind that people are going to bargain with you. Um, and of course, you can stand your ground. There's no requirement for how much you have to um sell your item for and i'll speak for the I, the um the apps that i use i definitely have the people pay me in cash in person i've accepted one paypal offer and one um venmo offer payment so and i just stood there and was like let the money come into my account before you walk away with this item and it worked out fine in those two cases but i do prefer that people come and just give me the cash when they show up to my house um so when you're on these apps here are a few more tips definitely charge for delivery um especially if you're going to be spending a lot of gas i mean it depends you know um if you're just going one block away or something maybe it's not that big of a deal to you but some people have you know, asked me to drive like five to 10 miles away. And so I've charged an extra $12 for that delivery. Um, other than that, like if people are not responsive um, after they have initiated a message thread with you, follow up. So for instance, someone, people all the time will see items that I post on these apps and say, um, I'm interested or is it still available? Is it still for sale? And I say, yes, when would you like to meet up? Um, or when are you available and all that good stuff? And then I hear crickets and they don't respond for another 24 hours or two or three days. And if that item has not yet sold to someone else, I will go back to that person and say, Hey, still interested. Okay. So I recommend following up with people. Um, you have the option on each of these apps to boost your item and bump it up to the top of the um, apps thread. So people see all the brand new or the newest items whenever they open up the app. Yours is gonna get pushed down to the bottom if it doesn't sell after a while. And so to boost it back up to the top, you can pay like a dollar or two or three on the app. Um, and even you can even have it featured for a certain number of days at the top of the app if you want to. So consider that. Or if you don't want to spend extra money to boost items. I mean, I, I only boost expensive items that I'm listing for over $100. But if you um, want to have other items boosted right back up to the top without paying for it, you can just delete it and repost it as if it were a brand new item. All right. I think that's about it. That's plenty of information, I think, for you to get started. If you want to try retail arbitrage, um, it's great. I mean, I've gone to stores like Walmart, uh, Walgreens, Dollar Tree, um, like I said, a local grocery store that's selling some items for really good prices. And I have um, 
posted those things for higher prices. Look at the clearance racks. What were the original prices? You can look at the original prices and sell those items for what they actually were going for originally rather than for the clearance price. And then people don't necessarily feel like you're ripping them off or you're trying to get over on them or anything like that. Um, so have fun with this, make it your own, play with it. Um, if you have any other thoughts, ideas, uh, questions, go ahead and drop me a comment below. Also remember to like and subscribe and share this video with your friends. If you want to learn how you can make a full-time income online, go ahead and click on my number one recommendation for making money online below, and I will see you on the next video. Take care.